What's good, YouTube? In today's video, I'll be teaching y'all how to make YouTube banners on the iPhone. So, first thing you want to do, you want to open Safari and you want to just look up uh, YouTube or YT banner template. Then you want to go to images and you can click any one, but you, I would use this gray one right here. And you want to hold it and swipe up, click save image. Then you want to search again and you want to click, well, type in Fortnite background. And you can pick any of these backgrounds, it really doesn't matter, it's just personal preference. And, um, yeah. I like this one, so. Uh, I pick you can hold it save it you know you know what to do and then the whistle then you can pick any skin that like really you know like represents you and for me it's the whistle warrior and the renegade raider so you want to search up PNG and well you'll search up your skin and then PNG like renegade raider PNG and then you want to go to images and then you want to hold it save you want to do this for at least two skins or you can do one but i would do two just to be just to make it good all right now you want to open up pixar and you want to click the little plus in the bottom and then you want to uh go it should be an image it, and you want to click the fortnite background that you just chose you want to go to effects pop art color gradient and then you just want to pick colors that like really represent your channel mine is black and red because red is my favorite color and then black is just dark and like i don't know how to explain it but you know black and red just pick colors that go well together and really represent your channel now you want to go to fx again fx and then hdr and then you want to put the unsharp put it all the way up then you want to do fx again do blur and then scroll over to focal zoom and then just Put your size to however you want it and then fade all the way to zero. And then once you do that, now you want to go on Google and you want to look up action lines. And you want to pick one that looks like this image right there that I just imported. imported. Then you want to go to add image and you want to add it to Pixar. And then you want to go to bend screen and then you just want to do what I just did. And uh, made it like the same size as your original picture. Now you just want to save it. And then you want to open up Fonto. And then what you want to do is you want to open up your template. And then you want to open up the Fortnite background. Like the edited one you just made. You want to make this size. You make it as big as it goes. And then... You can go, you go to alpha, you make the opacity, like you make it down a little bit so you can see both like the template and the background. Then you want to size it to like it's a perfect size. Then once you do that, now you want to click the three letters in the bottom left and then you want to click add items and then you add this square right here. You want to click size and just make it as big as wide possible and then put them, put it just how I made I do mine. We'll see. And then we'll do the same thing and for the bottom one. Now you wanna click your background and you put the alpha back up and then you wanna click both rectangles and then you just wanna save your image. Now you wanna exit out and open up Pixar again and then you wanna open up the image with the black bars. And then once you do that, now you want to add images and then you want to add the skins that you just imported. Which mine is Renegade Raider and Whistle Warrior. And you want to make sure they're like kind of, well, not kind of, but they're in the middle, direct middle. And you just want to like, just play, just play with it around and um, put it how you like it. But I would make sure that you kind of make it look good by clicking the layers, like the little pieces of paper in the top. 
and it's just like, like move up move down and then just make it look good Now what you want to do is you want to click one of the both pictures, scroll all the way over, click border, white, and then just make it like two, three, and um, there you go. It doesn't matter if it's like off the, off the, into the black, it does, it's fine like that. And then you want to go back in the Fonto, and you want to open up that same picture, and then you want to do the same thing we just did. Click add item, the square, and you just want to make it as big as it goes, and then same thing we just did this is just so that it covers up the area that we went over it if you didn't go over then you don't have to do this stuff and then you just want to save the image now you want to close the app now you want to open up pixar and then this step this is you don't have to do this but if you have social media then i advise you to do this so you want to go to stickers and you want to open you want to click up any social media you want to click up white and then whatever social media i just did instagram because that's what i use and you just want to put it to the side and then also you just put anywhere just make sure that they're lined up and then if you have another one you want you would most likely want to have two because it's on both sides but and then for me I don't use I don't really use any other social so I just put PlayStation but they didn't have any stickers so you all you have all you really have to do is just go into Safari you want to go into Safari and you want to type in uh, for me it would be white PS4, PlayStation 4, PNG. Make sure you do, make sure you put logo though, yeah. See how it just did. Then click images and you want to find the one that pretty much looks good. And you want to make sure it has that white and gray background. Then you want to hold it, save it, and then you want to just add images and then you just want to add it. And then, um, make sure that they're lined up straight how they're supposed to be all right just like that now what you want to do is you want to click apply next save save image and then you want to close those then you want to open up fonto again and you want to click photo albums you want to click what you're making and then you just want to click add text and type in your socials like for me, my PlayStation is King Ham 37, and then use any font, but I recommend the one I, I'm using right now. It's Love You Like a Regular Sister, something like that. You, you can see it. And you just want to size it down to regular. Not regular, but how it should look right under. And make sure that it's white too. And then after you do one of them if you have an if you do have another social you want to do the same thing for the other side and you can see mine i'm typing in my ig my instagram and you just want to do the same thing you just did and just want to make sure that it's directly in the middle directly under if you want to space it out more, you can. Mine is kind of done together, but you get the point. And then you want to save that and you want to add text. And then you just want to add like your name, your YouTube name. I did the font called Permanent Marker. And then um, basically you just add your youtube name and you can play around with it just make sure you add a stroke and you want to go to style shadow make sure you add a shot style 
shadow, you know, make sure you add a shadow, and then make sure you add a stroke, and then just, just play around with the colors, and then figure out what you like. You can do what I do, but just play around with it and figure out what color you like. And I want you to you save it and then you exit out and you go into YouTube, like regular YouTube, and then you just want to. What I do is I just type in my own name and I, uh, click, little set. I click the little settings. And then I just click the camera where my banner is. And then I just click the, my banner I just made. And then you size it how you want it. And then um, there, that's your banner.